My name is Albert Wagemans. Currently I'm a professor of management science here in the Erasmus School of Economics. My life motto is uh, trust your intuition. When I was a child I was hoping to become a musician because I always loved music and I thought maybe I could also make some music myself. But in the end I found out I did not have enough talent. So I became a professor of management science instead. I was a very hard-working uh, student. Uh, I think also uh, very ambitious. I just like to get good grades, do very well at my courses. Uh, and I think I did. So after my uh, studies, I uh, decided to do a PhD here at, at Erasmus. And uh, during uh, that time, when I was learning how to do uh, research, I realized that this was something that I really liked to do. I like the whole environment, I, I like the, the, the type of people who are working in academia. So people who are really, uh, on one hand, ambitious, but also very passionate about what they were doing. Uh, international group of people. Um, so I like those aspects and I think that uh, was what made me finally decide to stay in academia. Main uh, steps that I took to become a researcher was uh, doing the PhD here at Erasmus, a very good institution, so a very good starting point for my for my career. And then uh, what I did next to that is that I uh, developed my international uh, network I I within research, and that uh, turned out uh, very well, both professionally also personally. For instance, this is how I met my wife in the in the States. So the main topic of my research is uh, the design and uh, analysis of optimization methods, mathematical optimization methods, for planning problems in all kinds of complex systems, in particular logistical systems. So officially I have every week, say, two days to, to do research. Um, probably I don't always spend that much time on it because I have many other obligations. But certainly it's not enough, it's never enough for research because every answer that you give to a question also brings new questions. So the reason why we started to work on uh, screening uh, policies for infectious diseases is that my uh, PhD student Harvin de Vries was interested in it. So I hooked him up with some people I knew at the uh, Institute for Health uh, Policy and Management here at uh, Erasmus and actually also people at Erasmus MC. And they knew people in Africa who had data on, on this disease and this is how we could actually start working. So the main challenges uh, when, when we try to, to do this, uh, specific research on, on screening, is that, well, first of all, you need data. And data, uh, reliable data to get to, to obtain those is very hard in, in general, especially when you're working in uh, areas like Africa. And, and the next to that, uh, once you have the data, you need to have some kind of prediction model that uh, by which you can predict how actually uh, screening uh, for these diseases affects the, the, the disease burden. And once you know that, you, you have to do another step because then you have to think about how are we going to allocate, say, the, the, the scarce resources that we have for fighting the disease. So these three parts all uh, constitute uh, challenges that, that we had to deal with. If you look at uh, what people are currently doing uh, for active case finding uh, for these uh, infectious diseases, uh, then you see actually that the, the effectiveness uh, really depends on how they are doing it. So you have some guidelines by the World Health Organization, uh, but those are not necessarily the most effective way that you can, can do it. And one of the, the uh, results of our study was that we showed that probably you can do much better than what the World Health Organization advises. So one of the key factors that we found when you are trying to optimize effectiveness is that you have to distinguish between villages. So you should not treat every village uh, the same, but you should look at what the expected burden of disease is in a particular village. And then uh, villages that have a high expected uh, uh, burden of disease, you should, uh, say, prioritize them when you are doing the screening. So according to the results of our uh, research, it is possible to improve on the current practice by say about 50%, meaning that you have, will have 50% in the long term, 50% less cases of this uh, sleeping disease, that's the particular disease that we focused on, in the region in Africa that we had the data for. So the main findings of our uh, research is uh, first of all that it is possible to predict how the uh, disease will develop over time given a certain type of screening policy. 
And then the, the, the second main finding is that it is possible to do better than the, the current guidelines suggest. Um, and the nice thing of the whole uh, study is that you could also try to apply it on other diseases like AIDS or malaria or, or whatever. All those type of diseases, in principle, you could do a, 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 similar, a similar type of approach. So it's, uh, the results are much more generic than only applicable to this particular disease. For me, the most prominent outcome of the research that we did is that people are now considering adopting it really in practice. So I did in my past a lot of research that was more, say, much more theoretical, but it's very nice to see that now we can really have an impact which will affect people's lives. My name is Albert Wagemans and my message to the students is trust your intuition.